by the now legendary Swedish trainer. So Erickson has his eyes on that pair as they score alongside each other in the second and what might be deciding heat of this year's event. They're at the post. The gate is rolling. Here they come. They're often trotting from the outside. Earl of Stormont, first away between horses out very fast. Also a fast photo, that pair early as they drive toward the quarter. Getting out third, Tijano dropped in four. Credit winner on the outside, racing five is Pine Drop. Six outside him, Dream Master seven and trailing is Plesak as they race around the turn, headed now toward the quarter mile mark, led by Earl of Stormont, the Canadian trotter by two legs. Off stride, there goes fast photo, out of action. Moving up now, Tijano is second, trotting third as they reach the quarter mile barrier is Credit winner. Racing fourth past that juncture, Pine Drop still five. Now as Dream Masters, they sweep off the turn down the backstretch. Off the quarter, 28-2, they're racing toward the half. The leader, Earl of Stormont, Tijano, waits patiently but not waiting. Here comes Credit Winner and Jimmy Martinez to the outside. They're driving toward the front. Credit Winner was third, now second. He's alongside Earl of Stormont. Third is Tijano, four. As they reach the half-mile mark is Pine Drop, five. Dream Master, six past that station. Toward the upper turn is Plesak. They were at the half and 56-3. After a break, dropped out of the action is Fast Photo as they head into the final turn. They're racing toward the three-quarter, trotting with the lead by two and a half lengths. Credit winner. Now he's getting away from them by three. And Tijano begins his drive right now. He's off the rail. Here he comes as they race toward the three-quarter. He's closing ground. He's two lengths off. He's a length and a half. He's a length behind the leader. Third is Earl of Stormont. Here comes Pine Drop. He's trotting quickly. And Dream Master about to join him. He'll have to come three wide. They pass the three-quarter mile mark. And 124-2. Credit winner leads the way. But he's about to be tried by Tijano. Here he comes. Roaring up on the outside. On the inside. Credit winner fights for his life. On the outside, Tijano. Three lengths behind that pair. The rest of the field. Tijano gets up on the outside for Ledford. Fighting back. Credit winner. Ledford is going to win the world trotting derby with Tijano. Home second credit winner, third Dream Master, Ford Plesak, five Pine Drop, six Earl of Stormont, seven was Fast Photo. And in straight heats, Eric Ledford gives trainer Per Erickson win number four in the world trotting derby. He's a rising star, and he has risen, and his name is Eric Ledford. What a year, Eric Ledford. He's won the World Trotting Derby. To make presentation of the World Trotting Derby trophy, Moving into Victory Lane, a very gracious lady. She is the first lady of the state of Illinois, Mrs. Laura Lynn Ryan. Mrs. Ryan visited here last year, was quite gracious. And she's back to make presentation of the race trophy to Russell Williams and the entourage. Ralph Gonzalez of the racing board is there again along with Duke Johnston. Doc Narotsky, director of racing of the meet here, joins in the festivities, along with other dignitaries and well-wishers. And this day started with this horse at 30 to 1. And the day for him ends in victory lane. Winner bred also by Russell Williams, by the late great stallion Super Bowl, who trotted to a Hamiltonian win here at the DuCoin State Fair. And he is from San Antonio Bell by Speedy Crown, who too trotted to a Hamiltonian win here at the DuCoin State Fair. The grandmother of this horse Actually, paternally, the sire of Speedy Crown is Speedy Scott, who, too, won the Hamiltonian here at DuCoin. 
So we remember those years when those great horses raced, and now and all is a major sport. The newspapers in Sweden tomorrow.